In our previous video, we looked at adding shifts to a resource so we can control how many resources we have throughout the time of the day in the simulation. Um, in this video, we're going to look at uh, a few other features that can essentially do the same thing and give you that control um, in your simulation without having to build up a, a large series of shift patterns. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by selecting our resource and uh, we're going to disable our shifts here. And then what we can do is move to the additional tab. So one feature we have here is called the resource schedule. And what this allows us to do is, is similar to shifts, it allows us to um, control the number of resources at specific time intervals um, during the day. Now, this can be very useful if you have a large number of resources, um, if you have a varying number of resources at a much greater interval, um, because everything will be in one place. So here we only have one resource. Um, and we're working at 60 minute intervals. However, if you, if you have hundreds of resources, then you know, it's much easier to, to see it in this sort of format. Um, in addition, you can also copy and paste um, should you have this sort of data in uh, an external source like Excel. So what we can do here is we can choose to change the interval. So again, right now we're in minutes. So here we're controlling the number of resources every hour. Um, so just for example, we can say perhaps um, you know, no one's actually working here until 12 o'clock. Um, and again, you know, no one will work from uh, 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Um, what we can do is we can also add days um, at the bottom here. So this could be your day one in the simulation, which in this case will be a Monday. This could be the Tuesday and so on. Um, and it will automatically repeat from the last day. So even if you have um, an odd number of, of days, if you, let's say, have uh, 11 days um, in the pattern, this will be able to handle that as long as you put 11 days down here and keep this op option checked. So again, that's really it. Um, if we did have more resources in the simulation, we could add them uh, from this drop down. Of course, we can choose to remove resources using the secondary drop down. Um, but what we're going to do here is just quickly save these settings and uh, look at the impact on the simulation. So again, we're not expecting to see any resources available until 12 o'clock. So if I now reset my simulation, you will see the number of resources has dropped to zero. And if we slowly run it, you will now see work items build up and at 12 o'clock they begin to work. So again, it's just uh, it's another feature, another way to control the number of resources.